have you heard of Phil the Fluter from the town of Ballymuck? The times are going hard for him, in fact he was quite broke. He just sent out a notice to his neighbours one and all, as to how he'd like their company that evening had a ball. And when right now he was careful to suggest to them that if they found a hat of his convenient at the door, the more they put in whenever he requested them, the better would be the music for the bathroom and the floor, with the tooth on the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle, oh, hopping in the middle like a heron on the griddle, oh, up down the hands around, crossing to the wall, oh, hadn't we a gaiety and filled the flute as ball? There was Mr. Dennis Dart, you kept the running dog, there was little crooked Patty from the Tyrolet Ball, and there were boys from every barony and girls from every art, and the beautiful Mrs. Brady in her private ass and cart. Along with them came bouncing Mrs. Cafferty, little Mickey Mulligan was also to the floor. Rose Suzanne and Margaret O'Rafferty, the flower of Art McGillan and the pride of Perthavore, where the two on the flute and the twiddle on the fiddle, hopping in the middle like a herring on the griddle, up down hands around crossing to the wall. Oh, hadn't we a gaiety at Phil the Fluter's Ball? First little Nicky Mulligan got up to show them how, and then with a capper he stepped out and makes her bow. I could dance you off your legs as her, as sure as you were born. If only you make the piper play, the hair was in the corn. Phil plays up to the best of his ability. The ladies and the gentlemen begin to do their share. Christmas.